Look at all the paperweights. Tommy's got some paperweights, Laurel. Well, today we are going to be visiting the Vintage Kitchen in Denver, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're going to be visiting our friends Tommy and Kathy and uh, we're going to see some beautiful mid-century glass. Uh, the other day I took you to Daryl's and Daryl has a lot of art glass and old glass and all sorts of glass. Tommy specializes in a lot of mid-century stuff, depression glass, that sort of stuff, pattern glass. Um, so you guys have been there before, you know it's a treat. So we're gonna go uh, check out Tommy's, see if he's got any paperweights, and uh, do a little exploring at Tommy's. So we've got Laurel with us. Uh, Dagny could not join us. Uh, she had a, um, a whatnot sale. She has whatnot sales every Friday. If you're not following her on whatnot, it's Flying Pig Thrifts, and she has whatnot sales every Friday. So, all right, let's see what Tommy's got. Here we go. Boy. What do you think is cool? I kind of like that weirdo one. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Along with the Millefiori on the outside. I think we'll grab that. All right. So let's look here. I'm kind of really digging this Murano bowl down here. I told Tommy that when I came back, I was going to grab that for 28. Beautiful pink Murano bowl. Here we are in the back room, just checking out what Tommy has available in Fenton. He's always got some great fun. Looks like he has two alley cats. You guys know I'm a sucker for the alley cats. Oh my goodness. Lots of kitty cats. This weekend is the extrav. By the time you're seeing this, it's no longer the extra. <laughs> but Adamstown does have frequent extravs and a lot of the stores here in Adamstown will have 20% off sales. You can see here 20% off entire shop. And Tommy is one of the stores, the Vintage Kitchen, um, that participates in that. So if you're ever in the area or want to plan a trip, it's definitely worth planning it around the extra. Those are nice. Those kind of look like they could be Morgantown. I kind of wonder if they glow under black light. Maybe a little bit of Murano there, possibly. Kind of wish I had Dagny here with the black light, but she couldn't come. She has a whatnot sale tonight. She usually runs her whatnot sales every Friday night. Today just so happens to be a Friday. Whoa, isn't it neat? Laurel is impressed. Whoa. <laughs> Wow. 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 <laughs> when the one year old is impressed, you know it's good. I love this little dish here. Let's see if I can get it one handed. Oh my gosh, the coloration on that, the blue with the purple. We call that mulberry. I think we're going to grab that. This is beautiful. There's some more Murano. We'll pick that up. <laughs> Laurel uh, went back in the stroller for me. So I'm able to look around a little bit more. These have a really cool scabbo texture. Just that rough texture. I don't know if those would be considered Murano or not. Ah, oh, there's a crack in the bottom. Maybe? Maybe that's just a mold mark. I almost wonder if there's one Murano. It's 38 for the set. That is so cool. I just don't know how I feel about shipping that. <laughs> 38 for the set. It's kind of steel plus 20% off. So I might buy this. I think we could ship that. It would just be a pain to ship, but it would be worth shipping. Let's see what else we've got here. I kind of glanced through this a little bit, but I did have Laurel in my arms. <laughs> I made it a little rough. I love this. My eye just keeps going back to it. 85, 20% off. The handle looks to be intact. You always have to check these applied handles because sometimes there will be a break on them, but this one looks good. And um, we are getting that 20% off. What about this rooster in the back? I'm going to set this down. Hopefully, I don't forget it. <laughs> He looks like he may have been on a pedestal. 
Oh no, he may have been made in Mexico. I think the rooster is going back. Oh my gosh, <laughs> everything's clinking. Stop clinking. Um, all right, is there anything else that jumps out? I think that might be it. I think I'm going to grab that uh, little piece of Murano. Check the top shelf here. Let's head over to the little rooms that they have in the back. I love digging through the rooms. Okay, so this is room number one. Looks like we have lots of tea sets and mugs and all that. Oh, I love this poppy. Oh, poppy roof. Beautiful glass down there. The last time we were here, this was actually out on the shelves. So it looks like they moved it into the case, which is probably safer for it. Oh, it might be stiff. Um, yes, it has the little ear tag there, but I can't read it. It's very faint. I was just sitting out there drinking her bath. I normally wouldn't leave her in the hallway, but we're basically the only ones here, so <laughs> she's safe out there. Oh, this is neat, although that looks like it could be Fifth Avenue because of the stopper. Totally missed that for $1.95. That's stunning. I don't know if I could pay $1.95 for it, though. Here is a bunch of Fiesta for all my friends who are into Fiesta. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll make our way down there. Um, we're going to check out this room next. Lots of pottery, salt and pepper shakers. Lots of pottery. I usually have fun in this room because you guys know I love pottery. Some bleak. Wow, I've never seen so much Order of the Eastern Star in one spot. That's a lot. Hmm. Judy Smith. Judy Smith. Okay, so Judy Smith did a lot of this. A lot of this is attributed to Judy Smith. Guatemala, maybe. Wedgwood. All the catchy little cuties. I love the snails in the back. Someone recently posted a bunch of those. I can't remember if it was on Instagram or whatnot or where I saw them, but I definitely saw an entire set of these little snails somewhere. Laurel, what are you doing over there, baby? This is beautiful. I love the glaze on that. I think I'm going to buy that just for the glaze. Yeah, what are you doing, baby? That is so stone made in Kenya. All right, now that I don't have Laurel, I wanted to look over the paperweights one more time. <laughs> it's hard juggling her in one arm. It's doable, but it's not easy. Oh, I don't know. This one is nice, but that one's got 95. Although Tommy was giving me the one for 60, so it's got some very nice. Millefiori in it. I just bought it. I've bought so many paperweights lately. I feel like it's going to be a really big sale. This one was signed. This one was signed. But it almost looked like it was signed China. I don't know. Is it signed China? It looks very nice. I wouldn't pack that for China. So I'm pretty sure it can't say China. This is neat. This is an Ali Brihe. I like him. He's funky. He can go on my upcoming weirdo sale. That's a weirdo if I've ever seen one. Um, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of weirdos here that, ca that 
cat. That bird is a weirdo. All right, so we're gonna just take a peek real quick at the swung glass faces. Not that I need any more because I have way too many. And as I've said a million times before, I collected them before they were cool. So I just sometimes can't stomach the prices that <laughs> they're getting right now. These are retail prices. Tommy is constantly selling them for these prices and this is what they are fetching at the moment. Um, and it just blows my mind. But he just sold um, a lilac this morning for a thousand dollars, which I'm like, why? Well, it's so bad, but I just can't pay that for it. So this is just amazing to me, but I'm not ready to let mine go. So here they are, the gorgeous smung glass faces. If you want smung glass faces, this is where you go. Fairy lamps. Amazing. Look at all the bittersweet. Oh, look at this one in the middle. So stunning. Guys, no, I love my bittersweet. <laughs> Laurel's like, Mom, Mom, more cookies. <laughs> Blap! You cannot have the camera. You cannot have it. <laughs> my camera's saying, my camera's saying infant, like it registers Laurel as an infant. Um, so here is all the Pyrex. This is the Pyrex room that many of you love. <laughs> She's smiling at you? Yes. She's happy. Yes, we are. She's smiling. Yes. Yes. yes, we are. You like Tommy? Yes. <laughs> this? Whoa, what is this? Why it's, is that? It's so called New Mexico. Is there only a few of them known? Oh my Very gosh. Very rare. Came in. And the one above it is called the Duchess. I know. I saw that on Instagram. And that one saw homely stand products. If you did a party, yeah. you were given that. And if you. And you could buy like these kind of little glasses. I know because I found. I, okay, so I saw you posted this on Instagram. Yeah. And then I was at the antique mall and I found a set, the creamer and sugar yes, set with the stand. Yes, and I knew what it was. Yes, I, awesome. I only knew what it was okay. because I saw you post that. Hey, I mean, I'm like, oh. and Pyrex. I was like, this is a Duchess <laughs> creamer and sugar. And I yes. know that because of Tommy. Yes. yes and I, would have, I wouldn't have known it otherwise. Yes. So yeah, I was very proud of myself. That's awesome. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I'm <laughs> glad you're proud of me because I'm I would. Very proud of you. <laughs> I'm That's so out of my element. I'm like. <laughs> I know, but it's yeah, very this proud looks of familiar. I think I know what this is. Yeah. Oh man, Pyrex, Hi. out of my element. Hi. All new in the box. So amazing. And then over here. Oh, there it is. Tommy's the personal lucite. collection of lucite <laughs> that he has decided to to send to other homes. Yes, I have. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the hippo. <laughs> the that hippo is so is wonderful. Great. So wonderful. I, that's my favorite, the lion. Oh my gosh. That is so great. I love the hippo. And I have a wow. really big chicken, like this big. <laughs> and I had it hanging and it fell down. Oh and hit no. The case and broke two of his little No. Lines. So now I get to officially keep him. <laughs> oh no. Because I did broke him. Oh, and the aliens the alien? in the back. And it's a star. You see, it's like a planet, what? like a little solar. Oh my gosh, Dagny's going to be so bummed that she couldn't come here. <laughs> because she's been making these uh, Lucite okay. things. She's been oh, making them. And um, she's been making like these little bouquets and yeah. stuff. She would think that's the I coolest. Love the, the little smiley oh guy. Oh my gosh. The little Pac Man light. Look at the little Pac Man guy. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize there were so many different things. Well, I was like, I want to see, Mom. Why did you leave me over here? Look at that grumpy face. I want to see. Come on, everybody. Look at this guy smiling. Ooh, look at all this pretty stuff. <laughs> Yes, it is. Oh my God. Oh, those are adorable too. Yeah, those are fun. Wow. And that's a really weird orange piece with the center handle. Oh my goodness. But these white things stick up. So it's almost like, I don't know what you would use it for. Cause it's. Yeah, that makes it tough it to put something in it. Clean one. Yes. <laughs> There's some Holt Howard. This is also an unusual Holt Howard. All those wow. Bowls, up a watermelon I almost want to buy this orange thing. It's very unique. Because I, I, it's just cool and weird, and I love weird stuff. What do you think, Laurel? Yes. You say yes. Tommy's not paying me any yes. attention anymore, and I'm not, I'm not yes. feeling it. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Laurel? 
Yeah, is it cool? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the first time I brought her in here and she yeah. was just a little itty bitty? <laughs> She's not going to like their stories <laughs> that we have to tell her. I know, right? <laughs> When she's nine I and I bring her, her when she was this big. I know. <laughs> Everybody, because I bring her around everywhere. I know. I know. <laughs> the usability, like, you see, like, it's... Yeah. And it's, I would assume, it's like... You like it? You can't hold it. You can touch it. You want to touch? Touch it? You can't hold it. <laughs> yeah, you touched it! Done it nice. Here, here's a bottle. Here's a teddy bear. Okay, good job. <laughs> I can't believe that. I love him so much. He's a house hippo. He's fantastic. I love him. I feel like I need him. Sure. You've got all these owls, which are my spirit animal, and is it? And, and here I am. I'm like the hippo. <laughs> the hippo I need. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my gosh. And then all of these cool things up here. So whoever was in that knows you said, you know Jocelyn loves flowers. I know. <laughs> I, know. Like, yes. <laughs> I know. I love the one with the bumblebee up there. I guess you have a few with bumblebees. He I is so cool. I know. I'm so glad you were able to glue him back together. That is awesome. No. It was a sign that he was meant to that, stay with just you. Just keep him now. Now he's worth like $25. <laughs> with his broken foot. So. He was meant to be with you. Yeah. All right, the last thing I think I'm going to grab out of this Lucite case is probably one of those um, bumblebee things up there. I just got to decide which one. I'm digging the yellow. Ooh, the green. Yellow. Yellow. I think I need the yellow one. I think the yellow one with the bumblebee. Yes. I love that. Oh, that's so neat. I think so, yeah. Yes. <laughs> what about this guy? I think he's a card. So you put a pencil in his tail. Oh, okay. You put a pen or pencil in his tail and you put letters in there. Oh my gosh. He's fantastic. Okay, him too. Okay, I need to go now, Tommy. I, <laughs> it's time for me to go home. You're getting all my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as always. You shouldn't have texted me a picture the other day. I, I teased you. <laughs> So I feel like that was another fun trip to the Vintage Kitchen. Um, I always enjoy going and looking at all of the eye candy. So I made a decision after visiting the Vintage Kitchen that I am going to do a themed vintage Lucite sale after my paperweight sale. How could I not? You saw all the vintage Lucite. Um, so we're going to be doing a Lucite sale Wednesday, July 5th at 4 p.m. Eastern on whatnot so i will put a link to that down below uh the hippo that giant orange serving thing that woodchuck looking weirdo um, all of the fun stuff um including some other pieces that of lucite that i have sticking around um, i might go back and visit tommy for some more lucite um that's all going to be featured on that sale that's what we're going to do we're going to do a lucite sale because there was some really cool lucite pieces that i have never seen before and um i think it would be fun to bring those to whatnot so um that's what we're gonna do now uh when i was at the vintage kitchen i i met a very nice gentleman um who is on instagram my vintage 1976 um over on instagram he was very nice it was it was nice chatting with him um so if you're on instagram make sure you go check out my vintage is 1976 uh tommy's always you know talking about his his texas buyers and i'm like your texas buyers and finally i was able to meet one of his texas buyers so um yeah i think that's really it um uh, make sure you tune into our whatnot sale and uh we'll be back we'll be back to the vintage kitchen it's been a while since we were in adam's town and we had a lot of fun so i'm gonna end it here hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see all of you tomorrow all right, well, I just got home and I almost forgot that today is Tuesday. Um, I've been putting little teasers at the end of my recent videos, but I wanted to formally invite all of you to tune in to the Nurse Flipper channel this evening at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be the guest 
on a reseller live chat. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, the last time I did it with Jesse and Mark, but prior to that, it's been it's been a year or two since I've been done any reseller live chats. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to it. Yvonne is going to be the host this evening uh, because Kat is busy um, at the List Perfectly event they're having in Arizona or something. Uh, but really, I'm kind of looking forward to it. So I'm hoping you guys can tune in and join us 8 p.m. Eastern. And hopefully I get this video out in time that um, that that you guys see it before before the, the reseller chat and not after it. So, um, all right. See you guys there.